Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Five Nights Tower Defense. My name's Trap Cardis or Wrong Eye Slayer. Um, thank you for being here with me today. Um, you guys have absolutely crushed it on the last video with over 12k views, and I've gotten over 140 subscribers from that video alone. Thank you so much, and I'll try to continue pushing out content for you guys. Over 120 likes as well. I think we might be up to 130 something. So thank you so much. Um, if I get 500 subscribers by the next video I publish, or let's just say the next two videos I publish, I will be giving away two Galleon Foxies to you guys. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the next few videos, and I'll be picking a winner shortly. So I just wanted to come back here and tell you guys what I got from uh, opening up my presents yesterday during the three times luck so these are all the galleons i got um there's quite a lot so i'm just gonna drag this on for a few seconds um all right so here's all the nightmare bonnies i got pretty cool um, and here's all the trades i made to get the goliath endo and the shiny spring bonnie um now if you guys have any questions comments or concerns Leave them down in the comments, and I'll try to get back to every one of you. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Now, this isn't theoretically maxed, but this is pretty close to theoretically maxed. If these two were shiny, and these two had vengeance on it, um, it would be the best team in Five Nights Tower Defense. But, anyway, I got as close as I possibly could. And you know what sets me aside from other YouTubers? These are all my own units that I've actually either got or traded for. So, please subscribe and dull my pain of grinding this game for this long. <laughs> uh, let's turn on auto skip and I'll cut back to when the first boss comes out or something interesting happens. <laughs> Hey guys, I just wanted to come back and say that these shiny Vengeance Tarnished Spring Bonnies are actually insane. I've never used these before, this is my first time, but they are absolutely shredding. All these guys have 2000 HP and they're just like ripping through all of them. Oh, it's absolutely insane. Right. I'll come back when the boss comes out, guys. Be right back. Alright, so here comes this first boss. It's a Cadaver Endo with 50,000 HP. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to kill it that fast because um, we just have this Galleon Foxy that's not quite in range yet. But uh, hopefully we can upgrade it and it'll tear into it soon enough. So um, yeah, I'll come back at the next boss. See you. So next we have a Toxic Cupcake with 75,000 HP. Um, our Galleon Foxy is maxed out, so it should be tearing through this thing really easily, along with the next couple of bosses. In fact, all the bosses. A 
I'm about to place the Goliath Endo Freddy, which is the first time I'm actually using this thing. So this is going to be really exciting for me. This unit looks so sick. I love the axe and I love like how big he is. It's just like a cool looking unit overall. So up next we have the Melted Balloon Boy with 100k health, and that health is going to be melted away, so uh, yeah, this Balloon Boy is definitely going to be melted by the end of this. Squad says to subscribe and like the video. So the fourth boss is the discarded puppet with 125,000 health. Um, and our squad is just going to discard this puppet again for the second time in its life. So the fifth boss is the Scavenged Freddy with 110,000 health. Um, honestly, there's not much of a pun to say here, but our whole squad is basically placed down now, so all we have to do is just upgrade them, and then we're basically just sitting pretty until the end. So the sixth and final-ish boss is the Binded Springtrap. It should be bound, I feel, but like, who knows? Um, so it has 120 health. Um, it's just Springtrap, and it goes slowly, and we're going to kill him very easily. And then after this, basically, there's just a bunch of other Springtraps that come out, and they just have more health, and that's the boss from here on out. So I'll just speed up the rest of the video for you guys.
So I've never actually made it past wave 114. So past this point, if I feel like it's getting dicey, I'll turn off auto skip, but I'm just gonna keep it on for as long as I possibly can and see how far we can go. So uh, yeah, let's do this. So I think this is going to be the end of our run, guys. We just leaked this one Foxy or Endo or whatever, and he just took 99 HP from us. So I don't think we're going to make it much further, but we got to wave 143, which is really good. This is what we got. We got four endless presents, and then we got five of these season three presents. Honestly, that's pretty good for just one round. Um, and this team definitely carried through. Um, this team is undoubtedly the best team in the game right now. Um, if you could make it any better, besides just obviously getting the two shinies and making those other two vengeance, then uh, I'd like to see you try. Um, but anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video like I've been saying, and please subscribe. Helps out a lot. Again, if we get 500 subscribers in two weeks, then I'll be giving away two Galleon Foxies. So uh, make sure to comment and check with the other videos that are coming up soon. Uh, so yeah, see you guys later. Bye.